My first guest is a very talented actor that you know from his work in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. His new film, Outside the Wire, begins streaming tomorrow on Netflix. Here he is, Anthony Mackie. That, look at What's this. What's up, man? We got a lot to talk about, buddy. But first, uh, uh, I want to say congratulations because you're the biggest New Orleans Saints fan that I know. And uh, the Saints had a big playoff win last weekend. Huge win, huge. Now we get uh, we get our, our, our division rival, Tampa Bay. What's it like watching the game with you, with Anthony Mackey? Uh, you know what? It's 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 a hard it's a hard ride to roll. Yeah. It's um it it's you know, it's I, it's a lot of talking, a lot of screaming, a lot of throwing stuff, a lot of drinks, a lot of hugging, a lot of crying. <laughs> it, it's an emotional ride. Are you a superstitious fan? Do you have to do anything like in order or anything? I'm very superstitious. Uh, so, you know, the game comes on noon here, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, so I have to, you know, get everything ready. I have my collective jerseys in uh, order of strength, like the strongest being my 12-year-old jersey, the weakest being my one-year-old jersey, wow. and so on and so forth. They go in every other year I get a jersey. So, you know, it's, I have my, my slippers, my socks, my, my sweatshirt if I really need, like, a strong pull. So, you know, I'm, I'm very superstitious. I have to wear my Saints slippers and socks every day when I'm home. For how long? Since when? When you were a kid? No, since we won the Super Bowl, man. Super, Super Bowl 44. That changed. Obama was the 44th president. You play craps. 44. <laughs> hard eight. 44, <laughs> baby. Hard eight. Oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> this weekend, those Saints going up against Tom Brady. Yeah, man. Yeah. How I, do you feel? I, I have a... I have an issue with, I mean, look, I hate Tom Brady, man. I hated him when it was New England. Tom Brady is one of those people I know I'm going to love him so much that I hate him. So I can never meet him because I just want to hang out with him and hug him and like <laughs> comb his hair and cook him <laughs> dinner. Like I just want to, I want to like hang in a hot tub with Tom Brady and talk about fun stuff. Yeah, he is cool. He is too cool, man. He's too perfect. You go, yeah, you got this guy to do something up. But also, yeah, he's like a shih tzu. Like he's so beautiful. You just want to. You know, shake him a little bit. You do, but also he gets in those situations. You go, well, he can't do that. I mean, they're down, uh, you know, 30 points. And he goes, and you go, okay, come on. Why would I say and that? And he does it every time. Every so to build up, build up my power, I wear my uh, slippers, <laughs> my Saint slippers, oh my God. and my socks. Oh, my, my God. My Saint socks, see what I'm saying? That's I got to wear them every day up until the game for the whole week. Oh, do you, you really? You take it that far? Yeah, you got to build up the power. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I could. Now I'm, I'm rooting for them. I hope they win, but uh, I, got I, I'm, I'm got glad that they're doing well because uh, I've read that you're in this Avengers-only fantasy football league, and your team did not do yeah. so so well this year. Uh, <laughs> you, you finished second to last. It's out. People are talking about it. Chris Pratt <laughs> ended up winning this year. It's the headline of every newspaper. Uh, which which of the Avengers is the biggest trash talker when it comes to fantasy football? Uh, it's a sp I mean, Chris Evans talks a lot of trash. Uh, <laughs> Paul Rudd talks intellectual trash, which is confusing because uh, you don't know if he's insulting you, but you feel like it's a diss somewhere in there. So he's the, he's the guy you want to fight. You know, you can talk back to Chris, but yeah. Paul is like, nah. Yeah, you get it like three days later. You go, hey, but that was insane. That was like four levels of an insult. <laughs> or by the time you Google all the words in his insult, it's, it's too late. The game's over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, hey, I want to talk about your new movie, Outside the Wire. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. It's great. There's action, there's robots, there's twists. It's a good script. I mean, could you set up the movie? Outside the Wire is a story of... Um, uh, two soldiers that go out and try to stop a bad guy from getting nukes to uh, destroy America and take over the world. I play a cyborg um, and we have a Damson Idris who comes in, who's a, um, a, a drone pilot. And I enlist him to help me and go out and save the world. Uh, you, do, uh, you did a lot of stunts in this movie and you were telling me, I mean, you're jumping off buildings, it's explosions, it's everywhere. But you were telling me your stunt man uh, actually got hurt the first week of shooting. So you... <laughs> Kind of did a lot of your own stunts. What, t talk dude, to me about this. Dude, first day, first stunt. My stunt man was supposed to chase a dude through a market, tackle him over a table. So he tackles him, hits his head on the ground, he's concussed, out, like that. Wow. And for some reason, 
summer of 2018 was a very good summer for black stuntmen because we couldn't find another dude to come in and do my stunts. <laughs> so my director, uh, Mikhail, he calls me over and he's like, okay, Anthony, you, you know, you big guy, you go to gym, right? People like you, you big guy, come on, jump off the building. And I'm like, what? He goes, come on, big guy, come on. <laughs> big guy, big guy, come on. Dude, so that was you do, I go, oh my gosh. I, I, I was, yeah. I gotta, now I gotta rewatch it again, man. Uh, <laughs> I, it's a pretty intense movie. I heard that, I heard that uh, something you do after a long day of shooting to relax, you watch reruns of The Golden Girls. Is this true? Yeah. Uh, very true. Uh, Hallmark has the best uh, uh, TV programming from 9 p.m. to 2.30 a.m. And they show about eight episodes of the Golden Girls. Now, when they follow it up with Frasier. And if you don't know me, I am a, a Golden Girl kind of guy. Man, they can land a joke, huh? Oh, they kill it. They kill it. it, it it's funny when you look at them, the, the level of talent, uh, comedic and dramatic they have. I mean, if you look at, you know, Betty White, is one of the most talented women and she had her own talk show she like she was a professional dancer actress she was amazing those oh, four women were amazing did you ever meet uh betty white <laughs> uh, i met her once uh i was in new york at this event and she was there and you know i fanboyed out and ran up to her and was like oh my god i love you so much i'm such a fan like the episode when you were tap dancing was so beautiful. So she laughed and touched my face. And she says, oh, you make me wish I was 40 years younger. <laughs> and I was like, what? Did I would do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my god! I gosh. would do that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, well, dude, you're so great in this movie. So whatever the Golden Girls did for you, it worked. Uh, I want to show everyone a clip. <laughs> Here's uh, our pal Anthony Mackie in Outside the Wire on Netflix. Take a look. Dress, Lieutenant. Double time. What's this? You wear your uniform out there, you'll be a standing target. Thought I'd be guarding a fence, sir. <laughs> I don't have any specialist training as a field agent. Don't worry. I'm special enough for both of us. You're a... You're commanding officer. Fourth generation biotech, and I'm gonna give you 60 seconds to deal with it. When we come back, Anthony Mackie and I are going head-to-head -head in a game of Hey, Robot! Stick around. Uh, uh -huh. It's on and on and on. Uh, I said, and it's so